blocking my time and I was very happy to be here. Uh, basically, what are the time I'm going to spend here? I'm not going to give a lecture here. I want every kid here to transform to the ideals, whatever we are going to put forth. You're all fortunate set of students in the state, in the country in fact. Let me tell you first certain basic problems of this nation and tell you how fortunate you are. Today, hardly 20% of the student enter the higher education in the country. Only 20%. And in that, people who get the quality education, quality education as per United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, Action Point 4, that is one of the benchmark. Your school comes under that. Action Point 4. That quality education is available hardly for 0.5 percentage of the 20 percent and you are fortunate to be in this lot and you want you have you are not supposed to just become an employee of the organization you are not supposed to just become one of the ordinary citizens of this nation you should raise up to the occasion as a leader and this entire purpose of conducting this pdp program personality development program is to bring that divinity that capability that uniqueness within you so that you raise up to this occasion of this nation. This nation is not shortage of funds. This nation is not shortage of human resources. This nation is shortage of leaders which is required from the grassroots level to the parliament. And for that, your capability has to come out. The entire reason the personal development program is conducted not to make you employable but to create employment in this nation. That's very, very important. And you, you people are the torch bearers of the future of this nation. When you, uh, when you are singing that song, the entire song was based on nationalism and with which we grew up. Today, my marks does not matter. There are so many hundreds of people who qualified with me. I don't know what they do, but I know what I do because of the ideals that I emulated. I was not a bright student. In fact, some of them said knows about it. Today, I'm in commerce. Don't think I had so much passion on chartered accountancy. I'm in commerce. I did not know what is science. That is when I went to tuition for some of them said. And then I learned physics and tried to skip through the 10th standard. Then I took that commerce. But when I took something out of choice, I was able to perform. I was looking at opportunity. And marks are not just the benchmarks. Not just the benchmarks. Meaning, marks is important. I am not saying no. You need to get the basic marks. You need to outshine in your academics also. But that is not the end of the career. That is not the end of the career. Are you using your day every day for identifying your potential on the positive side? Today, identifying potential on the negative side is more destructive. For that, you need not even identify. You can go and check on every day's calendar. Are you part of the problem? Or are you part of the solution? If you are becoming part of the problem of this nation, you are a destructive force. If you are becoming part of the solution, you are constructive force of this nation. How do you know this? How to judge this? That is where you need to have ideal. A man with an ideal probably will do a mistake of thousand. That's what Swami Vivekananda said. A man without an ideal will do 50,000 mistakes for sure. That means to ensure that you don't do 49,000 mistakes, you should have an ideal. And you might ask me, is there a human being who don't do a mistake? Everybody does a mistake in this life and no man is perfect and don't feel guilty about your past. The, today the biggest problem with the uh, students is most of the time they keep imagining about their past, leave the present and regret for the future. In, in, the, in the present, you don't live in the present. You always think about the mistake you did yesterday and you waste today and tomorrow will come. Again you will think about today. So what is happening is you live in the world of guilty consciousness or you live in the world of negative emotions and with this we cannot develop the family, neither you, neither the nation. So you need to possess the stamina and inner strength to forego the negative emotions with you. That's very, very important. More than constructing you, that is the second phase of uh, personality development. First phase of personality development is to drop the negative emotion. That is itself is a skill. Many people get that maturity when they actually go through the spiritual process how to drop the negative emotion. But that is not going to be helpful. While you are crossing the 
adolescence age, it is general, it is natural to commit a mistake. Because it's not your mistake, it is not a problem of your mind, it is a problem of your hormones. And your movies, your serials, your television, your YouTube channels, your memes, everything caters and injects more for your hormones. And that is exactly the problem today. You don't know what is right, what is wrong. It is not your mistake. I will tell you this is a society's problem. Now how do you outshine out of all this problem is success today. How do you outshine out of all these challenges is success today. For that you need to have an ideal. I suggest a model. This is what, this is what the ideal what Mr. Karma Yogi Narayan Rao Ji gave me. In the school itself, someone sir knows that in, a, in, in the school where we got educated, there used to be Vivekananda statue. We also have in DV school Vivekananda auditorium itself, as classes itself, one of the building itself we have for Vivekananda as a memory, as a reminder. And Swami Vivekananda could be a great ideal for you. Many people think he's a Swamiji. But don't forget, he's just not a Swam Swamiji. He's a great thinker from Asia. He's a great thinker from Asia who has inspired millennials, billionaires, industrialists, policy makers, politicians, leaders, common man. He has inspired many, many people. He is a man of ideals. Swami Vivekananda is not just uneducated. Please understand. Swami Vivekananda comes from a highly educated family. His father was a lawyer during British time. And Swami Vivekananda took the poverty as a choice. He had everything in life. Swami Vivekananda took poverty as a choice to know the problem of the people. He travelled 22,000 kilometers across the country. Not just for fun. Not just for marathon. Not just for selfies in Facebook. But to understand the problem of the people. He understood, he has to address the problem of the people. And this young man walked for 22,000 kilometers in India. And he dreamt what India should be. How India should become glorious. He came back to Tamil Nadu. He may be born in West Bengal, but Tamil Nadu adopted him. When he came here, he had a great disciple called Alasinga Perumal. Alasinga Perumal was working in Pachayapa school. Those days no Pachayapa college. Alasinga Perumal became a disciple of Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda was hardly 29 years old. Alasinga Perumal was hardly 25 years old. The disciple went and uh, got, got uh, money for his American, uh, America too. 3,000 rupees he got. And that is a friendship which Mr. Alasinga Perumal, he was a disciple and he was also a friend of Swami Vivekananda. And Swami Vivekananda then went to Ramanathapuram, met Bhaskar Sethupati Raja, where Bhaskar Sethupati Raja said, I will give ticket for your voyage to Chicago. Swamiji did not take it because he was waiting for the blessings of his Guru, Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Then he went to Kanyakumari. And you know in Kanyakumari, the three, uh, the Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean and Arabian Sea come together and there is a rock. And now, even now you cannot swim over. Can you just go there and swim over an ocean? Is it possible? Going against the tides and winds. But that young man decided to go and sit on the rock, meditate about the nation's problem. Can you imagine 29 years old, young man, he did not meditate for him. He took poverty, he took uh, the humble life for the development of this nation. And nobody could understand his vision. Probably even if you tell today about, if you do that, people still believe you are a lunatic. Here is a young man who believed in his vision, who sat on the Kanyakumari rock, meditated. And he, when he meditated, he did not meditate for his self-interest. He meditated for enlightened self-interest. There is a difference. Enlightened self-interest is nothing but because of me, how I can contribute for my country. Because how I can become a contributor. He did not say how, what I will get. He thought what I can give. As a personality, when I talk about personality, you should transform yourself into a personality of a thinker who will not think what will I get. You should think what can I give. More the contribution, more is the success in your life. And Swami Vivekananda became enlightenedly self-interested person. That means selfless person. And he came out and his guru also showed the way to Chicago. And when he went through Colombo, nobody knew in Colombo who Swami Vivekananda was. He went to Chicago. In Chicago, he did not have invitation. And World Religion of Parliament was supposed to be held in July. But it got postponed. 
all challenges were there. Those days, definitely no mobile, no telephone, no money. This young man was searching for opportunity. For what? Not for his personal pleasures, but for raising up this nation, awakening this nation, bringing glory to this nation. And in September 11, 1893, exactly 125 years before, Swami Vivekananda spoke in World Religion of Parliament. He was the 23rd speaker. You are attending lecture from morning 5 o'clock is what I understand from some of them sir. And think, 23rd speaker comes and speaks how people will be tired. But when Swami Vivekananda spoke with that spirit, see he said, sisters and brothers of America, all the 4,000 people stood up and clapped their hands. That is the vision and the spirit Swami Vivekananda had. He did not have the vision and spirit of his own. He had the vision and spirit of the people of India. He had the vision and spirit of his guru. That is the day when people came to know what India is all about. When people are talking about tolerance, when people are talk talking about sectarianism, sect uh, sectarianism, when people were talking about casteism, Swami Vivekananda spoke about acceptance. And he was on the global platform. He became the hero of the entire world. The second day, all the paper carried the article and the photograph Swami Vivekananda. Just 31 years old, my dear friends. This is the ideal Swami Vivekananda created. His life did not end there. He became an inspiring personality for Tesla. He inspired Tesla. Swami Vivekananda inspired Rockefeller, one of the greatest philanthropists in America. Until he met Swami Vivekananda, Rockefeller was the most selfish person in America. He was one of the richest, but he has not done, he doesn't know what is the meaning of philanthropy. When he met Swami Vivekananda, he transformed his idea from him to everyone. And Rockefeller became a great philanthropist in America. Swami Vivekananda was inspired for Jamshedji Tata. Today you all aspire to study in IASC, Bangalore, Indian Institute of Science. It was a vision provided by Swami Vivekananda on a tour from Japan to India to Jamshedji Tata. And that inspired Jamshedji Tata to start IASC. Subsequently, Jamshedji Tata also started this Tata Institute of Social Sciences, one of the great institutions for social works in this country. And that is the inspiration Swami Vivekananda provided. Not only did Swami Vivekananda inspire all these three people, he also inspired Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi got inspired from Swami Vivekananda, got independence for India. And Nelson Mandela got inspired from Mahatma Gandhi, got independence for Africa. Swami Vivekananda not only got independence for India, not only laid the seed of independence for India, not only laid the seed for freedom struggle in India, he also embraced the freedom of Africa by inspiring Gandhi and Gandhi inspiring Mandela. And of course, Martin Luther King also got inspired because of Mahatma Gandhi. So there is a seed laid by Swami Vivekananda. Not only did he did inspire Mahatma Gandhi, he also inspired Balaganga the Tilak. He also inspired Subhash Chandra Bose. A young man, Subhash Chandra Bose, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, when he left the nation, he did not even have one person to support him. When he came back to the nation, he had, he had 85,000 people in his army. That is the power of the ideals of Swami Vivekananda, which went into the mind of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. My dear friends, why am I explaining all this story to you? You need to become a personality to achieve the imposs impossibilities. When people say it is impossible, you, are, you should say it is possible on the positivity. I repeat, on the positive side, not on the negative side. Today the problem is, your two first enemies are your parents and your teachers who are building you. Why, did, why are you opposing them? Why are you not respecting them? Because your movies are teaching like that. After all, the movie people are not going to save you. You preach them. You look at them. You aspire to be like them. They don't even know who you are. But you keep on following and wasting your time you are discussing Talaya Talabadiya when we don't even know our Talabadi. Right? This is the kind of personality. You, if you enter into that kind of a personality, only lower thoughts will go into your mind. The entire essence of education, the entire essence when DV school was started was to give higher level of thoughts which they are doing every day. But what do you do beyond 6 o'clock? We go back to the go back to home, look at uh, YouTube, look at television, look at the serial and seed our mind with lower thoughts. Come back with the same hangover to the school with the lower thoughts. It is equal to alcohol addiction, my dear friends. 
it is equal to alcohol addiction my dear friends it is better to drink alcohol than to watch a serial at home and to spoil your thinking process at is in alcohol you become unconscious but in when you watch serial you use your intellect and lower your intellect my dear friends always think about higher level thinking this can only come with an idea the prescribed ideal whom you should take at this age is swami vekananda let me get into the topic right topic and explain you the basic practical ways of handling things and i am not here to talk about your marks i will never take marks as a benchmark for me everyone is equal for me everybody is capable for me everybody has a divine quality it is a society's responsibility to shape you if you are not getting shaped somewhere society when i say society is just not school society includes your neighbor society includes your parents society includes your grandparents society includes your relatives something is a problem so every kid has a heart of compassion and this goes off over a period of time because of the influence from the society how do you uh, blossom out of this there are techniques available for this i have broadly classified my discussion into three uh, ways very practical just listen on it it's like very practical and how do you uh, face the challenges of day to day challenges and how do you come out everybody let me tell you all successful people today face challenges entire essence of life itself is how to face challenges how to come out from the challenges and your roads is, roads are not going to be highway your roads are going to be filled with lot of challenges whether you become an ias officer whether you become a prime minister whether you become the chief minister whether you become the top architect of a software company whether you become go to us everywhere you are paid everywhere you are recruited everywhere you are looked upon how do you handle the challenges you are respected in the examination marks not because you scored the marks but you came through the challenge of examination that's the reason you celebrate 10th standard that's the reason you celebrate 12th standard the yes sorrow no? and that applies every time that applies every time your life will be filled with lot of challenges that one thing that can save you that one thing that can help you is your ideals the three important pillars in which i will be discussing is the motivation motives of change two how to design the change and three how to practice the change change is the only thing which is permanent the way you join the school the way you are you are not the same every day you evolve every day you learn especially when you are in the early stages of your education you have to evolve every day there is a new learning every day and how do you have that motivation of change change is the only thing which is permanent it can be knowledge level change it can be your physical level change it can be your thought process change it can be your perception change it can it can be various changes how do you embrace that change how do you get into the motive, motives of change if you look at swami ji says swami ji is given everything swami vivekananda has given everything i am going to do this complete three uh, sets of uh, ideas only from quotations of swami ji and you will see such simple things he has told how which will develop you he says we have heard we have had enough lectures papers enough society is enough where is the man who will lead us a hand to drag out drag us out where is the man who really loves us where is the man who has sympathy for us hey that man is wanted he says in complete works the first thing first thing is that you are all concerned whenever you talk about india what are we saying india is a developing nation yes or no india is a developing nation india is a developing nation nobody is dialoguing how to develop the nation yes or no in the book also always it is not india as a sleeping giant the book does not discuss my dear friends how do you become a development contributor yes or no it just gives information that india as a developing nation always when that information is given you are putting the responsibility on the other person as if the development is not your responsibility so the first you should take the ownership of what ownership of you first then comes your family step 2 then comes your society society automatically will happen you need not even care no no i want to take care of society but i will not take care of you that's a useless idea 
you have to lead yourself first from the front. Today, what is the problem? Many people join engineering and they don't get job. Immediately, what they will blame? Blame their parents. You only told me to join. And what do you next to do? You blame the teachers because as if the teachers made you to join the engineering. This has become the culture of India today. And engineering has become the obsession of the family. You ask why people are doing engineering? Marriage purpose. Putting in the marriage invitation. This is not the way education should go to. And some people will say, neighbor Anna did in Nanganandur, I will also do. That Anna went, did IIT and went to America, Chicago, I will also try to do the same and go to Chicago. You can't do on your own things. You don't have your capability. You don't have strength. Think on your own. The entire essence of education is to give independent thinking about what is your capability and standing unique. And that's very, very important. If you are so concerned of change, first change yourself, then you become a contributor for your family, then third comes your society. Society will automatically have self-development, family development, third comes your social development, which will automatically happen. If under 200 students are here, if 200 students take care of themselves, 200 families are taken care. If 200 families are taken care, the society belonging to DAV school is taken care. It's simple. That means the society belong, the families belonging to a DAV school is a developed family. As simple as that. That means you are not coming under developing. It's a developed. So it's a simple thought process. So don't push your responsibility of development to the friend. Don't push the res responsibility of development to neighbors. Development comes from you. Your success is family success. Family success is your success. And that's how you uh, bring the development in the nation. Two. First of all, are you clear about your motives? Now, if I'm going to ask you, I don't want to ask this question because I'll see many of the students will be raising their hands. How many of them want to do engineering? 90? That's what. I don't want to ask that question. I don't want to raise their hands. I know majority of them want to do engineering. And if I'm going to ask you the next question, why engineering? The question answer may not be very bleak. The answer I will ask you at the end. Answer may be very bleak. You don't know why. Again, I'm telling you. Pakati Tanna went opposite to Uncle Todd. You live your life to the auntie and uncle of the neighborhood only. Why do you want to score more marks? Your mom wanted to tell other people that you got 200 upon 200. That day, for that you sacrifice the entire day. I'm not saying no for that. All I'm saying is use your talents. Use your independent identity to explore your talents. You are good in dance. Embrace it. When Ramakrishna Mahat was saying about DAV school, the cultural activity, they were saying that you are unique set of students who have the culture of performing very well. That means the school has the culture. That means the talent is there in the school. That means the students of the school have the talent. That means sir, there is something unique in the school. And unique in the students. Why can't, let's assume, if A. Rahman would have become engineer, would have lost what? A. Rahman, yes or no? If Prime Minister would have become a government official, today you, don't, you will not have Narendra Modi. Yes or no, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. If Abdul Kalam would have become a steno, you would have lost great scientists. You look at all these people whom I am talking about. All these people went on to charter their interests. There is nothing called boring job, provided you explore your strength and you identify your skill and skill match with your passion. If skill, passion and career go together, that is the life, you have, uh, life which you have lived. If these three doesn't go together, your work and your interest is different, that means you should seriously think what you should do in your life. And half of the people who are now working in IT company, working in a monotonous, monotonous job like Robo, think about their life only at 45 years. Think about their life only at 65 years. You go and ask all these people who are 65 years, they'll say something I should have done to the society at the time when the society should take care of them. Right? Think about what you can do right now and have the motive of change. Swamiji says, so help what whenever you can, but mind what your motive is. If it is selfish, it will neither benefit those you help nor yourself. If it is unselfish, it will bring blessings upon them to whom it is given and infinite blessing upon you 
sure as you are living. So he clearly says, be unselfish person. Today, most educated people are the most selfish person in this nation. I went to recently one of my friend, and he is also a student of Samandam sir. He is in Bombay now. He is working in one of the top investment bank. He is a top investment banker. I went to his home, and uh, he was sitting. I asked him a simple question: Who is your neighbor? Neighbor, we don't know. Then I asked, uh, uh, how many apartments are here? 300 or 200 or 250. Standard. Here means four. Nangal number four. Adam Bakam four apartment only. One compound. If you are living in 200, that's a different issue. There minimum is 200 in Bombay. All small small apartments. He said, I don't know. Then I asked, what do you do on Sunday? I sleep. What do you do on Monday? I go to job at 6.30. When do you come back? 11.30. Then when do you have, what do you do then? I go for work, come and sleep. I live here. And you won't believe. It is almost two months before they cooked on one Sunday. Because Swiggy and Uber eats. And while eating also they don't eat, talk to each other. The family. Because uh, mobile, WhatsApp. So literally, when I went into their home, vibration was lacking. <coughs> As against, I went to my one of my friend's home in Coimbatore, where they are into small business. They are running a small textile. Small turnover textile. When I went inside, smell of puja, the agarbatti came. When I went inside, water came first. Then I asked, who is the neighbor? He said, one of our relative only is here. Then uh, I asked, how many? Uh, houses are here. He said, I am the secretary of that uh, uh, colony. He is working for social upliftment. He is the same batch mate. He, he is living like that. He is highly educated. Highly educated from IIM investment banker. Here is a man tried to pass 10 standard and qualified with BSc. He also earns well. His family is so cheerful, vibrant. He is taking care of his father and mother. There, his father is living in Chennai. Mother is also living in Chennai. Wife said is somewhere else, some other place. And they don't even visit their homes. Because if husband comes to Chennai, wife is angry. And uh, uh, wife goes to his in-laws place, husband doesn't talk. And within small family itself, they are not having the bonding. Swamiji is talking about unselfishness. He did not know this problem will come to the nation. He spoke about you contributing to the society. Today you first contribute to your family. Take care of your parents. And that itself is not happening. The bonding is very very important for the unselfish work. Today many teachers dedicate their life. Not because they don't have any other job and they became a teacher. They were so interested in personifying you. They are so interested in developing you. That is the reason they are sacrificing. But unfortunately, we don't understand and respect that kind of personalities. We don't understand and respect those kind of sacrifices. First, be unselfish in your work. Let me tell you, success in your life will knock at you when you get educated. Why do you study? To get an employment? No, to become a contributor. Why do you study? You become a contributor. You, you become a contributor. More you contribute, when you go join a company, more is the salary. More you contribute, more is the bonus. More you can contribute for your family, more is your respect. More you contribute values in the family, more is the identity of the family in the society. And you become a contributor wherever you are. Becoming a contribution, contributor is nothing but unselfish attitude. And don't show your unselfishness in the examination center. Don't show your unselfishness in the, exam, in the public exam, don't show the answer to your friends. That is not Swamiji's spoke. Because you should also understand the Swamiji's ideas in a right way. Because you will come back and say, Satya Kumar sir told on that day, become unselfish in the examination I showed. The paper, don't do that. I said very clearly, the ideals for positivity, ideals as per the Dharma. What is the Dharma? Dharma, the law of the game. The rule of the game. If the rule of the game, within that, how do you become a contributor? That is very, very important. Don't go out of your boundary. That's very important. Right?
and motive three. Do you have the mistaken belief that you are helping others? Swamiji says, then there is other great point to learn that you can never help really. What can we do for each other? You are growing in your own life. I am growing in my own. It is possible that I can give you a push in your life knowing that in the long run all roads lead to Rome. When somebody comes for help to, to you, don't think you are blessed. You are something great when you help. It is actually an opportunity given by God for you to learn, for you to help so that it will come back to you. Believe me my dear friends, I did not believe this. When I was doing my school when Mr. Narayan Raji used to say this, I was also one of the students sitting at the last and making fun of him. But today I realize what is right, what is wrong. And he used to always say, help others, it will come back to you. And it has happened. Let me tell you it has happened. Miracles happen. Believe me, help others without any expectation. Helping others to in the idea of getting back is not a help at all. At all. It's not a help at all. Helping others in the idea of getting back is not help at all. It is a commercial activity. Please understand. Help itself means unselfish without any expectation. Without any expectation. The third category of help is pretending to help. Is the most sinful activity of the humanity. Pretending to help. Because you would not have helped anything. But when the credit comes, it will come to you. Look at for example. I was doing my chartered accountancy. When I took up my chartered accountancy, we used to go to marriage functions. My relative used to ask me, chartered accountancy you took as if it is one of the sinners to course you, you should never take. Uh, that person failed, this person failed, how will you pass? Then I passed foundation. Then I went to inter and he, again same person met me in another function. He said that person passed foundation but he did not pass inter. Then I passed inter also. Then he said many people pass inter. But final one group they will pass, another group they will not pass. Then I passed final also. Then that time I met him, I know that you will pass that time. <laughs> that time itself. And he said, you know, he said to another idiot, you know, this man used to be very vibrant. I used to tell him a lot of advices, pretending to help. Now the society takes credit out of you. And you know who was the real person behind your success? The last person, the pune of the institute who said you can pass. When we went to the institute, we don't know. We know who helped us. That is, don't ever pretend to help. The society knows better. First point, help is without any, any expectation. Two, if you help with such an expectation, that is a commercial activity. If you don't do anything but you take the credit, as if you have helped him, it is pretending, it is a sin for the humanity, it is a sin in the humanity. So, helping means without any expectation. Let's start from today. Be a personality who will help without any expectation. Let me tell you, one help you do without any expectation consciously you will get thousand times better things in your life i can vouch it it is a karmic uh karm it is it, it, it is proved it is it is proved you just do one help without any expectation and you will see thousand things will unfold for you automatically and it will come to you for sure you will get you will develop much more Better. For example, in my school days, I have seen when I used to enter the examination center, I am not the kind of person who will ask the other person, Did you prepare for exam? If you are writing exam, means you will prepare and come. If you are not prepared, mark will go down. That's all. Nah? My friend will ask, Did you prepare? Then, the uh, day before, they will call over the phone, How is the preparation going on? And uh, marks will come. Uh, that time, this man did not read, read at all, but he got more marks. Don't get into all these PT ideas. Be systematic. Your, your effort is your success. Your friend's effort is his success. Don't become jealousy. Jealousy is a fire. Jealousy is a fire. Before melting other man's gold, it burns your piece of wood. Jealousy is a fire. Before melting other man's gold, it will burn your piece of wood. Whatever wood also you have, you will lose it. Your capability is not equal to your friend's capability. Your capability is equal to your utmost divine capability. Explore that. Don't equate to the society and level your capability with others. 
you bring out your uniqueness. If you bring out your uniqueness, success is for sure. It can be delayed, but it can never be denied. So I want you to become a personality who will help others without any expectation. I want you people to become a personality with, who will explore your divine capability. Motive 4. Does your help come with strings attached? I already told you. If it is going to come with condition. Swamiji said, we will have to help each other. But we have to go one step farther. farther. The first thing is to become unselfish in help. If you do just what I tell you to do, I will help you. Otherwise not. Is that the help? No. It is a condition. It is a commercial transaction. That is not a help at all. You should do help without any expectation. These are the motives of your change. So message of motive of change is unselfishness. In the act of unselfishness, there is no failure. In the act of unselfishness, there can never be a failure. Your mother sacrifices every day morning. Getting up at 4 o'clock gives you coffee. Whether you study or not, she believes she is contributing. And she is not attaching a condition there. Only if you study next day morning, you will get up. No. Irrespective of whether you get up and sleep on that book, does not matter. She is up at 4 o'clock and she is giving you that coffee or milk or bone vita or orlicks. That is unselfishness. The heart of the mother. You should possess that. That is unselfishness. This should be the motive of change. So the one point of motive of change is unselfishness and helping others without any condition. Now let me take you to the next part of discussion and summarize at the end with one phrase, just the way I did for motive of change. The second thing is the design of change. Now you have the motive to change, that we are clear now the motive to change is all. The essence of motive itself is the unselfishness. Now how do you uh, design this change? First question, are you describing the problem or providing solution? Swamiji says, Swami Vivekananda says, everybody can show what evil is, but he is the friend of a mankind who finds a way out of the difficulty. For example, when you are in trouble, you call, you call certain uh, relatives. If you call and say you are in trouble, oh, oh, ayo, yo, what to do? That family went down like this, this family went down like this, this family could not come up like this. They will demoralize to the extent where you will not believe that you will come out from the problem. And these are the people who create evil with you, the evil mindset. There can be someone when you call, oh is it so? You don't know, it's very simple. And your heart becomes warm, yes or no? You should become a personality of not being a sympathizer, of not being an evil creator, but a personality with empathy. A personality with empathy. Very, very important word. Swami Vivekananda was a great person with an empathy. When you hear a problem, you think as if it is your problem. And then you work on that solution. Then you become the part of the solution. That's the question is in the design of change. First phrase is are you a part of the problem or are you a part of the solution? If you are part of the solution, your life is blossoming. You are coming out with as a holistic personality. And it is it will make you to achieve excellence in your life. There is a design point one. Then design point two. Are you changing a few elements superficially or dealing with the whole problem? Swami he said to the reformers, I will point out that I am a great reformer than any one of them. They want to reform only little bits. I want root and branch problem, where re branch reform, where we differ in the method, theirs is the method of destruction, mine is that of a construction. I do not believe in reform, I believe in growth. Feed the national life with the fuel it wants, but the growth is its own, none can dictate its growth to it. More than being a, dis a destructor of thoughts, you become a constructor of thoughts. Your friend comes and says you a new idea. Your brother comes and says a new idea. Your sister comes and says a new idea. Don't immediately say it's impossible. According to me, the, if you're more pessimistic, 
you will become more unsuccessful in your life. Your mark is not equal to that. Please understand. Don't immediately say a pessimistic person will not get more marks. A pessimistic person also will get more marks. An optimistic person also will get low marks. It does not matter. I am not equating marks. Don't please take that away. I am talking about personality. Personality is not equal to marks. Personality is not equal to marks. Personality, you become most pessimistic. You speak to some people, you will feel very negative. Yes or no? They will always, you, you can know from your own group. You speak to certain friends, you feel like, why am I speaking to you? Yes or no? Always say it is not possible. Always say it is not possible. Yes or no? Don't become a personality like that. Be, become more optimistic, more with positive vibrations, so that you can design a change. Have a root and branch approach. Look at a tree. If somebody seeds the tree, from the root branches grow, from the branch flower blossoms and it becomes a fruit. And if the fruit is fortunate, it gets ripened and the seed falls, another tree comes. Yes or no? You become that personality who will contribute to the society. That's what Swamiji says, root and branch reform. What you get, you give back. What you give, don't take back. It will automatically come to you. It will automatically come to you. Become a personality who will go through root and branch reform, which is nothing but growth. And you should become a personality who will construct things, not distract things. Now, many people, let me take up some few, few uh, practical things. Always we are all moved by the material things in hand. Yes or no? For example, your parents are calling to temple. You have a, a new movie coming up which you wanted to watch. You don't know what is essential, what is non-essential. Movie will be there for years. Yes or no? In archives. It will be there in YouTube. But parents will not be there for a long time. Yes or no? I am talking about, let's assume you are in 28 or you are in 27 or you are in 35. Parents are there for a short time. The amount of time you have with your uh, precious relationships. Parents are that kind of people. The amount of wisdom they have. Each and every word they speak to you, they don't speak for their self-interest. They speak for your development. But the unfortunate thing today among the student community is, you don't like that parents, whatever parents say you don't like. They are the first contributor for your life. Second, your teachers who actually want to develop you, whatever they say, you will not like. And without liking all these things, how can you come up? So, society is misleading you. Please understand, you should focus on what is essential, what is not essential. All successful people focus on essentials. You look at it. All successful people, people will focus on essentials. For them, the new technology or new movie or new uh, 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 things, all materialistic doesn't matter. For them, all the essentials matter. And all the successful people would have done that. I hope you can understand. Yes or no? For example, look at Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. And Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, when he became the president, he had two choices. One as a president, he can travel the entire world, meet the global leaders. But as president of India, he came to government school to meet kids. Why should a president come to meet our kids? He thought his life is a contribution. Yes or no? By looking at him, the student get inspired, then he is a contributor. And today, APJ Abdul Kalam, even if he is not there, he is living. Yes or no? His physical body is not there, but soul is remaining. Swami Vivekananda may not be here, but everybody takes the ideals of Vivekananda. Yes or no? He became a contributor. You should become a personality who will emerge like that. Physical body is temporary, but your soul should remain in this nation. The question is how much you contribute. More you contribute with unselfishness for the construction, for root and branch, reform and growth, automatically your soul will remain at any day. I hope you got that. You should become a personality where your soul will remain forever in this nation. Are you working from the student life for that ultimate purpose of leaving your soul in this nation? Will there be a school in the future where you, in your name, one all will be constructed? Will there be thousand students, minimum, 
who will remember you for your contribution? Will there be a family who will remember for your help? Will there be a one student who will say, because of that man, today I am living my life. This is called soul. Soul is not something that you read it and people don't remember it. If you have to, there is no death for the person. It is Knowledge is immortality. Swami Vivekananda said. Knowledge is immortality. You get the knowledge, spread the knowledge. It is immortal. Your soul will remind. I want you to emerge with the knowledge. Knowledge is not equal to textbook information. Today, if you score 200 upon 200, I pity. It's good. I'm not saying no. But you have good memory. It is not equal to knowledge. You have information, but you are lacking wisdom. A personality development program will not give information. Personality development program will transform you to get the wisdom. Wisdom is applying the knowledge when the problem comes. Are you bringing the knowledge? Are you getting the experience? Are you getting the expertise? And when knowledge and experience merges, wisdom comes. Knowledge and experience merges, wisdom come. Wisdom come. Then you might ask, how oh, Swami Vivekananda at the young age got the wisdom? Very simple. He had knowledge from Guru Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, and he had experience of traveling 22,000 kilometers in India, which not even 55 year old or 60 year old would have done. So experience plus knowledge gave him wisdom. That is the reason he became a leader of the global platform. I hope you got the point. So you are ex you should gather knowledge, not information. Today Google will give you much inf better information. I am talking about the knowledge, practical knowledge which is applicable. It is up to you to identify what is practical. And nobody can define it. And how do you apply, make it more relevant to the people is what your success is all about. I hope you got the idea of wisdom. You sh if you are a if you, are, if you explore your personality, become a personality will generate wisdom every day. And that is what the personality we need. And how do you practice the change? I spoke about the design of change. That is the design of change, the one important thing. Are you part of the problem? Are you part of the solution? If you are part of the solution, become a constructor. Become, be a part of root and branch reform, which is nothing but growth. And become a contributor and how do you practice it's not easy world will not allow you to practice this change my dear friends your friends your parents your, your ecosystem will always try to equal you with others it is up to you to prove your uniqueness for example you are good in chess the world will believe you that you are good in chess only when you win a tournament right Hima Das was from India Hima Das did not have any facility when she ended up in Olympics. She was running in a, a place in a village where there was no road. Maybe somebody asked her, how did you win the medal at the, uh, in the game? Asian Games, right? Or Olympics? Asian Games. At least you know that. Many people don't even know that in some of the schools. And Hima Das, somebody asked, how did you win? She said, sir, in my village there was no road. In the game I played on the international level there was a road. That is more pleasurable than the village road where I was running. Can you look at the success story? This is the thing we need to know. Please understand. And today Adidas, Reebok, I think, the company Reebok is coming out in t-shirts in the name of brand of Himadas. Himadas. And today world is recognizing because she won. And world will only recognize when you win. And until that time you have to struggle. Until that time you will not have identity. Until that time everybody will say you are wasting your time. But you should think that you will become emerge successfully. And that is the time where the entire world will turn and say, I know that this man, that time itself will become successful. Yes sir. That, we have to wait for that moment. Believe in yourself. You should have more faith. More faith. Don't just pray God only during examination. The beauty of the examination is everybody is spiritual. During examination, everybody will be with the full of vibhuti. But uh, now, God, after examination, it will not be there at all. All will be like better Odi only. I am not saying only school examination. In our CA exam also like that only. 
One day I was writing, our C exam used to happen in Jacob Algarodia, in Tamarum. One man was coming in the same dress every day for writing the examination. He had beards. And uh, he was coming in the same dress. After four days only I came to me, he's my batchmate. Because beard, I didn't know, I couldn't identify. And then it was the same dress. I asked, why are you wearing the same dress here? Yeah? Your person who is behind, beside you is complaining. It's spelling bad. Luck. When you wear that only luck will come. Yeah? So, don't have the superficial beliefs. Work. Work hard. Work with interest. Work with passion. Automatically things will unfold. If you are not good in one area, explore another area. Srinivas Ramanujam. Other than Max, he was not good in anything. But he became the best mathematician in the world. Yes or no? And where did he get that uh, uh, boon? In Namakkal Thayar. In Oxford professor is asking him, where you are getting all this formula? And Srinivas Ramanujam said, Thayar is saying everything. God is saying everything. They were shocked in Oxford. Which Thayar? Namakkal Thayar. You know Namakkal in Tamil Nadu? That is where Srinivas Ramanujam got the enlightenment on Max. You need not be good in all subjects. But because of that, don't... Uh, I am not saying that you should not read other subjects. Please understand. Don't get daunted. Don't get daunted that you are not able to score. God does not bless everyone with get, uh, same quality. Yes or no? Not everybody became Narendra Modi. Yes or no? Prime Minister Narendra Modi. There are gold medalists in his batch. But it was one... He strategized in such a way that he, he had his own path. Yes or no? There were gold medalists with uh, Abdul Kalam in St. Joseph College in Trichy. But not everybody became Abdul Kalam. Everybody strategizes as a path. Work on their strength. Build on their weakness. Work on the strength. Build on the weakness. You should be more gracious to accept your weakness. When your parents come here, teachers will definitely scold you. Not to distract you, but to construct you. I hope you got the point. To make a point to your parents, be responsible. Today the problem with the parents is, they are thinking the school and school as a parking lot. They are thinking the school as parking lot. And they are not able to manage one kid, but school has to manage all the kids. What is this? And second thing, today educated people are the most selfish people and educated people are the people who don't know how to live their life. I will tell you how. Both parents will go for a job. Servant only will upbring the student. And what mind the student will get? Huh? Servant mind only. And you expect the school to change. Getting servant mind is not a problem. I am talking about the lower thoughts. If, if you get a servant who has higher thoughts, no problem. I am happy. More than your parents. But majority I am talking about. I hope you got the point. It is not this, all servants are like that. There are servants who are with a higher level of thoughts, with a great wisdom, who can transform you. But not many are fortunate enough to get it. So, it is a problem with educated, where they don't want to take any responsibility. School has to take all the responsibility. And the problem with the kids is, they are confused. They actually, every kid is actually having a strength. We need to exercise on the strength. Work on your strength. Build on your weaknesses. That's very important. First practice point, let me conclude in another 10 minutes. Practice point one, are you helping people build on their strengths? Teach, Swamiji says, teach men of the strength already within them. All knowledge is within you. Already there is a gravitational force in this world, yes or no? Only teacher comes and says, look gravitational force is the concept, yes or no? Yes. It is already within. Only teacher takes that from you and says, this there, he brings consciousness. Yes or no? Believe that all knowledge comes from you so that it will become relevant for you. Yes or no? Today what happens? Morning when I get up, on one of the apartment opposite our home, poems will go away. But see, poems are going on. What poem? Max poem. Have you heard about Max poem? Someone will know better. He, he can understand what students are doing. Keep on reading the same sum. Especially state board. I am sure you are all CBSC. Uh, at least okay. CBSC is okay at least. State board number change means out of syllabus. 
State board number change. Instead of zero, another extra zero means num out of syllabus. Right? And that person, same Pythagoras only. Same Pythagoras theorem, same A, B, C, whatever. Again and again. And I asked one day, while I was just going in the car, I just stopped the car, it was just going out. Can I come here? Morning, every day you read something, A plus B, low sky, all the... What is that? Sir, nothing, sir. 1500 programs are there, sir. Poems are there, sir. Max poem. And that's how they teach in that school, particular school. And you have the 1500, if you read, sentence is guaranteed. Is this the education we want? That Pythagoras theorem is relevant to the humanity. That uh, carbon bonding is relevant to humanity. The pencil you use, that's a carbon bonding. Autumn is there here. It is all within you. Make your knowledge more relevant to you. Feel the subject. If you feel the subject, automatically change will happen within you. You always, people who score less or the people who feel bored in the class or the people who are not able to relate to the subject. That's the reason. You should just relate to the subject. And teach men of the strength already within them. Strength is already within them and we have to just teach them. Practice point two. Are you weakening people's faith in themselves? Are you affirming what they already have? Do not try to disturb the faith of any man. If you can, give him something better. If you can, get hold of a man where he stands and give him a push upwards. Do so, but do not destroy what he has. The greatest misery, greatest sin that you can ever do is destroying other person's faith. Somebody is entering 10 standard examinees with great faith. You try to go and confuse him, it is the greatest sin that you can ever do in your life. Don't do that. I have seen two students doing it. Right? So, don't confuse. Just do your job. Be a contributor. Do not disturb the faith of others. Are you finding fault with others? Practice point three of change. You see, most of the time, people will be finding fault with others. That problem, this problem, this. If you talk to that person, only problem will come. And you will feel, what will, say, what will he say next? I was working in an organization, reputed MNC. Don't think MNC alone is gifted with all the angels in the world. You are all the devils only, most of the time. And I was working with that manager. I joined that organization. First day itself, I am entering with so much of enthusiasm. Think at the 18 years, I completed my uh, the foundation. And I am joining one of the top notch accounting firm in the world. And article ship, for the article ship. I am entering with so much of enthusiasm. I shake the hands with this man. That's all. Your life is gone. <laughs> he said, that's all. Your life is gone. That day it started. I was thinking, okay, this man is serious. Okay, on that day. Because when you enter an organization, you believe what you see, right? And then two weeks went. Zarax, it will not come, you see, na? You give a print, it will not work, you see. It will not work. And uh, 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 11 o'clock tea, you go there, tea will be not good. Negative. It's like this, each and every point, negative, negative, negative. And uh, beauty is, whoever works under him will become a leader. Please understand, he will be in the same position. And it so happened, slowly we started climbing the ladder. And day came that he realized that I will out, out beat him. And he said, you want to live the life like me? So negative. He himself accepted. Please understand. So he is saying, better go out of this place. Can you understand? He has come to that level. So these are the personalities we will encounter. That's a different issue. Then I, I myself asked, why, are, why did you become like this? He said, when I entered like you in the organization, one negative person was there. <laughs> he gave negative, negative, I became that. So, and you should be conscious about all these people. Life is not easy, my dear friends. Definitely these, people, these kind of people will be there. Definitely people will criticize you when you do good. Definitely people will say you are a fraud when you do good also. They will come and bad, ba very bad at you. They will taunt you. They will tarnish your image. And you will feel that you are useless yourself when you look at the mirror. When all this happens, that one thing can, that can make you stand confidently is the ideal which I taught you. The practice point. Condemn none. Dragging down and condemning is not, is not the way to work. Even that time when you are daunted, even that time when you are low, 
when everybody says you are useless, if you have identified your strength, just work on it. Just work on it. Do you think Hima Das would not have been discouraged by their family? She is not gifted to come from city. Many would have told her father, let her get married quickly. Why is she running on the road? Possible or not possible? Possible. And for going everything, she was pursuing her passion. You would have seen the film called Dangal. Yes or no? Look at that. What a great lesson. You should look at those kind of movies. When the entire world was against the parent, when the, against that, uh, that actor, Amir Khan, right? Who acted in that. He brought championship. He, he made, him, made her to achieve the championship. And championship was achieved not because of the training given by Amir Khan, but self-realization of that kids. Yes or no? Success will come only when you get the self-realization. Learn the right lessons, my dear friends. And you need to self-realize. How much ever I preach, how much ever your teacher preach, how much ever your parents can spend on you, until you realize your potential, until you realize your divinity, <coughs> nothing can help you to succeed. You should self-realize. If you self-realize your potential, work on it. Become mad about it. Take up that one idea, work on it, make that as your life. That's what Swamiji says. Take up that one idea and make that as your life. And finally, practice point four. Are you imposing a single formula on everyone? Take everyone where he stands and push him forward. My dear friends, your five fingers are not the same. And when your five fingers itself is not the same, the world cannot be the same. You will have people with different ideas. You will have people with different emotions. You will have people with different aspirations. People with different focus. But you are called a leader if you are able to harmonize, not just bring everybody to the single point. Arriving at a single point is not possible at all. You just have to harmonize and bring that culture which will bring that achievement. Last but not the least, are you, leaving, are you living positively and setting an example to others? If you have known the old ways to be wrong, then why don't you? As I say, learn to live in a better way. By your example, 10 other people will follow suit. And by this, another 50 people will learn. Swamiji says in Complete Works, Volume 7, Conversation and Dialogues from the Diary of a Disciple, 5. You should sit as a role model. To do a mistake is human, but to repeat the same mistake again is a crime. To do a mistake is a human, but you are conscious about that mistake. When you realize it is a mistake, you are conscious about that mistake. If you repeat that mistake again, it is a crime. Because there was a malefied intention. The intention was not right. But mistake was, it just happened because of your act. So when you realize that it's a mistake, don't repeat it. And every day, if mistake happens, correct it. Put it in the dustbin. Drop that. Automatically will blossom. And no man is perfect, my dear friends. Until the last death bed, no man is perfect. That's what Swamiji clearly says. If a man with the ideals can make, will make 10,000 mistakes, man without an idea will make 50,000 mistakes. So mistake is a part of the humanity. All that, we, all that we, have, we have to look at is, are we conscious? Are we conscious about what we do? Consciousness is very, very important. I am going and pinching another person. I am just giving a small example. I pinch another person. If you pinch the same way, how bad you will feel? Yes or no? How painful it will be? But for you it is a pleasure to pinch others. Yes or no? Play around others. This is not a mistake, it's a crime. I hope you got the point. Because you are not conscious. Because you are not conscious. Become conscious. Awaken. Awaken the strength within you. If you awaken the strength within you, divinity will unfold in multiple times. Divinity will unfold multiple times within you and you will see your life will blossom. My dear friends, I am not talking about marks. You get 40, you get 200, upon 200, you get 100 out of 100. That's your capability. But I am talking about you evolving as a person. Every human being is a social animal. 
From a social animal, we become human. From a human being, we become divine personality. All that you are, you are a human being now. You should evolve to become a divine personality. Everybody should feel that energy when they speak to you. Everybody should give that first smile when look at you. Nobody should feel, Abba, Antarva. Ayyo, you know, don't call him. Don't become that personality. Become conscious, automatically this will happen. And arise awake, stop not till the goal is reached. Tattva Masi is Swamiji's quote. Amartasya Putra, look at the words Swamiji used. Always use higher level words. Today you know what is the trend of the youth? So many higher level of words are there. Higher level words are there. The trend of the youth is to use the F word. The trend of the youth is to use the F word. If you are not using, you are a good student. Good citizen of this nation. So many good words are there. Why did you choose that word for every phrase? Who taught you that? Who taught you that? That useless movies who make money out of your hormones, they taught you. Don't get misled. There are higher level of words, there are value system created in this school. Emulate that value system. Live your life to the fullest possibility. Help others. Live and leave your legacy. That's very, very important. And for this, I want you to drop 33 negative emotions. I'll just list down, I'm not going to discuss it. I'll take another 5 minutes and 33 negative emotions are there. You will realize, you just have to observe. Drop assumptions. Most of the time, you assume, assume, assume. Ah, you are, you don't even know the source. You don't even explore who is. Drop assumptions. Drop pessimism. Every cloud has a silver lining. There's a hope. Drop labels. Don't label others. He is like this. He is like this. He is fit to do this. Don't label others. You don't know when the changing moment will come. You don't know when that person will become Mahatma. Gandhi, when he came to India, he was not Mahatma. But Gandhi became Mahatma when he explored India. And people accepted him. Right? You don't know where the Mahatma is. You don't know where the leader is. Don't label a person. Drop regret. Act now. Drop regret. Act now. If you act now, you will drop the regret. Drop pressure. Face your peers intelligently. Face your peers intelligently. Drop baggage. Step out of your comfort zone. Drop ignorance. Know who you are. Drop trainers. Recharge yourself with good company. Because most of the time, in the name of friend, you will have someone who will drain you up. You will not charge you, recharge you. Drop trainers. Drop rigidity. Adapt to the needs of the times. Drop disharmony. Cultivate unity in diversity. Drop memorizing. Drop memorizing. Be a thinker. Be a thinker. Just leave your imagination. Very important. Don't cut tell your imagination. Not in the class. But while you are reading. Right? Physically present, mentally absent. Standard statement by a teacher. Yes or no? And it has been proved by a student also. In the physics class, you will think about chemistry class. Sir, how do you know? I have done. I also have done. I know better how to be physically present, mentally absent. It's possible. We have, we have mastered the technique. Yes or no? Yeah? So drop discernment, drop memory, drop distractions. Find your space. Drop overindulgence. Moderation is the key. Ten standards my life. I want to get the 200 upon. Don't be like that. Nothing will happen. Prepare? Right. Drop overindulgence. Drop complaining. Complaining, complaining, complaining. You see from morning to evening, one student will be there who will complain. Continuously. That teacher is not scolding me. As if the teacher does not have any other job other than scolding you. Yeah? Stop, com drop complaining. And complaining goes to another level. There will be one student who will complain about everything, everything to the teacher. Yes sir, no. It is universal. In my batch also somebody was there. Now he has become HR manager. My friend who was complaining in the class, recently has become HR manager in the company. And he got promoted very fast. What is the role of the HR? Complaining. Drop the form. It is not real. Drop jealousy. Learn to have but not possess. Drop 
super uh, superficiality be the real hero don't always live uh, in a superficial world the problem is that in the digital world what you learn you think it will happen in the real world in the movie what happens you want that to happen in your life for that person who is acting in that movie some of the uh, heroes are my friends who are acting in the television I used to look up on them when they were acting recently I met them their personal life is much more tragic and they keep acting in the film as if they are real heroes they live in a superficial world and you try to emulate them and spoil your life don't do that right drop selfishness don't fall in love race in love this love is different don't think the other love this love is a love of a subject love on your life because love itself means the word love is very dangerous nowadays i have to use it very skeptically love for the country love for your subject love for your family you should not fall in love you should raise in love i hope you got the point that is drop selfishness drop predictions work out your plan you see some of the best astrology will come during the examination time this will some as if you are setting the paper this sum will come that sum will come why are you predicting you read and go last time they asked this time the teacher will not ask these are the, you are playing the mind of the teacher mind don't do all those things drop predictions work out your plan don't and don't predict this person will be utter failure in in his life you know something don't tell this to anyone whichever person people told they will be a failure they become highly successful in my batch and teacher it's of knows about it when they scold because they are something different only they are behaving like that yes or no and don't ever uh, regret about it in fact uh, until 9th standard i used to get scolding from teacher and i used to regret when i went to 11th standard and took up commerce when teacher scolds i nothing used to be there it's okay we know who we are yes or no and uh, teacher was happy when i said i scored good marks teacher was happy now my teacher the teacher calls me every week seeing my television programs so they have wonderful speech what are you used to speak in class now you are speaking in the television she is able to collaborate so teachers are the most happiest soul and that teacher used to complain me so much to my parents i had i used to hate her so much but today that teacher is the best teacher to provide the feedback for me she does the same thing in a different model now yes or no right please understand so don't ever predict drop uncertainty discover your discover your purpose uncertainty is that when you ask some people here what career you are going to choose don't know sir as the god plans i will go god will not plan anything you should only plan drop uncertainty drop it it's trying to let go drop reacting there is no reason that you have to react for everything your dad is scolding you very badly there is no reason to re respond after something he himself will become silent yes or no but if you respond fight decreases and uh, and there is no reason that uh, if you are a nice child you have to fight with your parents especially your father i did a survey and found among the students boy children that is uh, guys want to fight with their father when they enter ninth standard this is psychology and pay, uh, father also wants to fight with them <laughs> this is psychology don't do that you need not respond for all the reactions keeping quiet also is one of the response right drop inhibition take advantage of the opportunity opportunity will come any time i will talk about mr rajnikanth rajnikanth is a product of ramakrishna but first time he acted in the bala sanka program of ramakrishna mat only one of the swami ji said you have great talents of acting every sunday bala sangha used to happen even today it was happening i was just attending for 15 minutes i was coming don't think i am bala sangha i am not uh, child but i used to understand how the children are that's my interest area so today that was going on i was just remembering rajnikanth was in bala sangha one of the swami ji bangalore ashrama identified this talent of acting with rajnikanth and after that rajnikanth became superstar yes or no so always take and that opportunity where it came it did not come in robo film it came where where did the opportunity come for rajnikanth 
balance. You don't know the small opportunity will give the spark. Are you taking that opportunity? For I am today speaking in various country. I speak. In, I, I speak almost the most of the government programs in the television. And where it started? It was started when Mr. Narendra said, "Today somebody has to come to the prayer to organize the prayer. He did not come. Come here," he said. I was shocked. Why is he calling me? Then I, he gave me a mic and said, "Please stop." When I took the mic, only uh, the the what is that? I was able to only breathe in the mic, not able to speak. That is the day I got the mic in my hand. Today I am able to speak in global platform because of the courage he provided where I conquered the failure. Courage is not absence of fear. <laughs> courage is overcoming the fear. Courage is overcoming the fear. If you have more, if you have more fear on something, work on it. You will conquer that. And don't uh, go and work on that, uh, don't jump from mountain and then say I conquered the career. You will not be there to conquer. Don't do all those uh, Shaktiman things. All I am trying to say is conquer the fear so that the courage will automatically come. Drop failure, be a winner. If you fail, no problem. If you fail, no problem, just go for it. Sachin Tendulkar hit 6 in the first ball when he entered. What was his score? Zero. 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 But today, there is no legend like Sachin Tendulkar. Yes or no? Of course, you can name many people, you are a fan of many. But, definitely has marked his place in cricket. Right? Drop confusion, make the right decision. Confusion is set to provide. It is your decision which can change that. Drop death, everybody dies, nobody dies. I told you the secret already, the soul should remain. Drop fear. It's time to face it. I told you, courage is not absence of fear. It is conquering the fear. Drop doubt. Seek the truth. If you see in the classes, there will be one person who will always get up and ask doubt. Always. The doubtful Thompson will be there. And I don't know how they generate the doubts. Just for fancy purpose. He wants to become a hero in the class. Yeah? Don't become like that. Seek the truth. Be realistic. Don't be superficial. And teacher knows well whether you are generating doubt or teacher knows better. Some of them are smiling. Maybe I would have also asked the doubts. Drop delay. Take the first step. There will be someone who will always come at 9.35 to school. Yes or no? Prayer will be there, he will be running. Yes or no? Drop the delay. Take the first step of coming at time. Drop attachment. Find the right way. Don't be attached so much. Before the exam, your pen is lost. Yo, yo, I will not get good marks in exam. Don't get all these superficial attachments. Drop brooding. Be in the moment. Don't always be flying. Work for the moment. If you take care of the seconds, your minutes are taken care. If you take care, if you take care of the minutes, your hours are taken care. If hours are taken care, Day is taken care, if a day is taken care, the week is taken care, and month is taken care, year is taken care, and year is taken care, decades are taken care. And if the decades are taken care, well, life is taken care. Don't always think about the decade and lose your seconds. Just, just live in the moment. Live your life with the happiness, that's very important. Drop, drop doership, it happens through you, not by you. Drop yourself, know your true nature and drop dependency, be happy. Even today when you get up in the morning, Amma, where is my shoe? Amma, where is my socks? Amma, where is my water? Amma, where is my badge? Dependency, dependency, dependency. And when you come to the school, give me rubber, erase it. Give me pen, give me that. So dependency is that always Everyday tasks should reduce your dependency in the world so that you become an independent person. And these are the 33 things that you need to drop and embrace the positivity. And I hope you will do this. Country is progressing under the able leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And you are fortunate to be in this changing world where India is looked as the global leader. If any country comes up, it's only a benefit for that country. If India comes up, it is useful to the entire world. Because 800 million people in this nation 
80 crore people or youth population, you and me, who are going to transform this nation. And we want leaders to lead themselves and lead this nation and lead their families. Leadership is not about political leadership. Leadership is about you bringing the change where you have the motive of change and you design the change and you practice that change. And you are a change maker and every educated should eliminate more uneducated. The role of the educated is to educate the uneducated. Take for example, Samanam said, today the students are working in US. Take for example, our own DAV school students, they'll be in across the world. And one man decided to build this school. And that has given the light to many family. Educate, the educated people. Educated people. Educated should educate the uneducated. The role of the educated is to educate the uneducated. And that is the entire essence of education. Education is the manifestation of perfection within. And not embracing the imperfections of the world. And if you do that, that's what Swami Vivekananda said. Education is the manifestation of perfection within. And I wish this session is more transformational. India today is about 5 trillion dollar economy. It's going to enter 5 trillion dollar economy by 2022. By 2030, India is going to enter 10 trillion dollar economy under the able leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And 2047, when India is going to celebrate 100th year of independence, and China is going to celebrate the 100th year of Republic of China, India will definitely overtake China because of the power of the youth, you people's effort. And I want you people to build yourself to build this nation. Your, your success is nation success and nation success is your success. Own yourself to own this nation. There's no... Uh, if you work for the country, it is not like working for the nation. It is your responsibility to build yourself and own yourself. And while you do that, automatically the country is uplifted. And I want you people to emerge more successfully. I have a greater hope of the students of the Adam Bakam because the best of the intellectual is from Chennai, is there in Adam Bakam and Nangalalu. I have seen that. And if you come, it's a fertile, sir was saying, someone sir was saying, it's a fertile land of uh, students. Don't just become an employee. Try to create more jobs. Try to enter the uncharted path. Enter into the path untraveled so that you will unfold a lot of lives and you touch a lot of creation of livelihood. I'm sure you people will carry this. I pray God to give the same energy for the school to carry on and light so many lives and definitely it is possible because of the dignity existing in the school. I thank my, uh, uh, my, my guru uh, Sri Narayan Rauji, today I am able to see his name here. I thank Mr. Samandam sir, I thank uh, Rajendran sir, Priya ma'am, mother, father, who are building this school and who are going to transform. I look forward to meeting you all on Vivekananda Navaratri if some people are going to participate in the cultural. Thank you so much for wonderful wonderful. Thank you. session, an energizing and empowering program, a highly motivating speech, no doubt highly blessed we all. Our students are highly blessed today to hear the valuable quotes of Swami Vivekananda, the youth icon, uh, none other than Swami Vivekananda, from the very embodiment of Swami Vivekananda, our Sri Satya. Personally, I am so much excited. You see Mr. Satya as a all personality today. She has a mask of respect. Please let us give a standing ovation. Great, great, great. Please sit down. Yes. Children, be seated. Last one hour. It has been proved because I found you uh, very much receptive and spellbound. So definitely, no doubt, uh, you will have a lot of questions to ask uh, uh, our research person. Now you can come out freely. We got time. So fortunately, we got time today. So you are free to ask any question. 
okay and in order yes who is the first ice but is come out feel free to ask anybody want to ask question generally first question is the problem after that the questions will come i'm sure somebody is ready i'm sure you are ready ask some question i know he has a question actually what is your idea of uh, developing india what is your vision of developing india vision is you develop yourself automatically develop others simple that's what we are discussing so it's not my idea swami vivekananda's idea which is now spread around around the country Even if there's a career-related question, you can just ask. Yes. Any question? Yeah, there's a student. Yeah. Pastor, what are you doing? Any question? Sir, Namaste. Uh, if you don't mind, I, I wrote all the thirty-three, but I missed one thing. I think. Uh, I think it's between this. Mama. Oh, and religions are complaining everything. I mean. So I don't remember, but I will tell you. Okay. You come to me, I will tell you that list. Sir, and uh, sir, I want to serve my nation. Uh, how I can tell any idea? How can I go approach? So what do you want to become? What profession you want to take up? I may want to become a space engineer, or I want to sir, study graphic technologies. What is that? Graphic technologies, sir. Graphic. Graphing. G R A P H E. What is that? That's actually a, a, a it's a, actually carbon isotope which is used which is a super conductor of electricity okay. and also has many properties uh, which is useful for mankind. Okay, if you are graphing, oh, it's uh, not graphing. You have that course in India? Not only I'm uh, searching it. Uh, okay, that means you are already you are deep into it. Yes, you do that. You will be ex you will be serving the nation because yes. nobody is there in that area. or if people are very minimal or few that means you are going to become contributive and definitely you are going to bring nations uh, thing why can't you think about winning nobel nobel prize in the area it's possible only thing you need to be contributive how that graphene engineering is useful for the common man if you are able to make relevance of this engineering or any education to the common man then that is the success of your career those who are aspiring for commerce related career i think he has extensive experience in that if you have any doubts how many of them are willing to do ca and then you should have a lot of questions and the nanur is the hub adambakkam and nanur is the hub for ca Come on, one. Yeah, yes, a question. Namaste, sir. So, what is the best college in Tamil Nadu in Chennai uh, to pursue your charter accountancy? Call. There is no college. It's an institute, institute where you go and enroll in the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, and you pursue uh, the course through self-study mode or by attending tuitions. By I didn't decide it. Though. I didn't decide whether I'm going to read it selfly or by going to in the institution. But I'm just I'm ambitious in getting in pursuing chartered accountancy. Which chartered you are? Tenth. Oh, tenth. You are uh, you are going right then. Yes. So you are two more years. Right. You have time for that. My our uh, humble recommendation is that you go through the plus one plus two with much more interest. Yes. While you are going through plus one and plus two itself, try to do chartered accountancy integration or classes. Online or in your own school, if they conduct, and then from there you pick it up and then do the later uh, advancement of that course. There is no college for CA. CA is a professional course where you have to get registered under ICA, SIRC, Nungum Bakam, and then undergo coaching under our reputed faculties, 
and then from there you pass and then uh, become chartered accountant. If you want to do college, I always recommend Vivekananda College, which is really, really good. Thank you. Stand up, stand up. Sir, how can we contribute to the nation by doing CA, sir? Okay, by doing CA? What is your idea about CA? <laughs> 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 Sir, Just tell me, no problem. You can become an auditor or managing director. After that, what will you do? Why are you becoming that? To earn money. <laughs> so earn money and do what? So you earn money to, without doing anything. Once again, I am just trying to get answer from him. He has the answer. I also already told you, knowledge is within and he is going to answer. And uh, you will earn money without doing anything. You have to do something. What is that you will do? By serving. Serving the company. Account, we will maintain accounts, prepare financial statements. Right? So by contributing only you get money. By preparing the financial statement, who is seeing that financial statement? Shareholders. That means you are adding value to whom? The shareholders. Shareholder believe that the financial statements and finance and accounts prepared by you is trustable. Yes or no? You add value on the trust side of the company. That is invaluable. That is what the shareholders look at. The chartered accountants are partners in nation building. Why? Because most of the tax evasion, people are not paying taxes because of chartered accountants only. Yes or no? And you should become a different person. Where you have to go and look at how to increase the tax revenue of the nation, the tax revenue becomes a development project of the country. Tax is for the socio-economic development. So these are the roles precisely you should be. And chartered accountant is a partner in nation building. And there is no question of serving the country. If you become a chartered accountant, you are already a partner in nation building. That's the motto of ICA. I hope you got the clarity. One more story. We'll... Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Sir, sir Stand up. help, yeah. help sir, anyone without expectation. Yeah. So, what is the basic idea of giving salaries to the politicians in India? Uh, can you repeat the question? It's a wonderful question. Can you repeat the question one more time? You, you should be told that you should, do, you should do service without any expectation. So, what is your idea of giving salary to the politicians in India? We all... Yeah, please clap hands. Very good. We all believe, today you are looking at the politician because they are already having Benz car, Audi car, BMW. Those days people became politician by serving people from poor background. Kamaraja was a chief minister of Tamil Nadu, became chief minister from a humble background. And he did not have anything in hand. He has to have maintenance, na? that is how salary started maintenance of that particular personality. Now today it has gone to a level where the salaries have increased to MPs and MLAs to the extent where you can stay at 5 star hotel every day. If at all he pays. That also they don't pay. Right? And if they go to some of the prominent hospitals, there also they don't pay. To treatment. Right? So don't equate the salary what the politician today gets with the, menta, uh, with the, uh, with the mental framework in which the country got it. The country got it because the salary should be paid to get a kadar cloth. But today, uh, people are getting silk cloth. Yeah, but that is not the vision. Definitely your question is valid. This is a larger debate uh, of the political system. And definitely, it requires a debate. And the school should also have this kind of debates to open up your ideas. You are absolutely right in thinking. Why should a politician be paid a salary? And why? Is there, next next question let me ask you, is there a structure created, you join a company as an office assistant, then slowly become manager, then you become senior manager and a MD. In politician, is there a structure created? Is there a structure created? No. Why it is not created? Is politics not important to India? 
Politics is the nerve center of India. Yes or no? Yes. You are having inferior person for taking superior policy for you. How it will happen? It can never happen. In Taiwan, the sports minister is from uh, is a PhD in sports. Law minister is a PhD in law in Taiwan. And in Singapore, the deputy PM, Tarman Shanmuganathan, Shanmugaratnam, is what deputy PM is a Tamilian in Singapore. And Tarman Shanmuganathanam is an economist who is leading the economic division of Singapore. And you check in India, who is leading the education, education and don't ask about Tamil Nadu, you don't even know who is the minister sometimes. Sometimes. That happens in everywhere when the elections happen. Right? It often happens also. Right? So accordingly, the, the, the entire political system has to be reframed and it has to be brought into a more structured reform. This cannot happen right now. Probably when you become a senior citizen, it might happen. At this juncture, I don't vision. Let me be realistic. I am not pessimistic. I am not optimistic. I am realistic. At this juncture, it cannot happen. It might take some few years, few decades to transform this phase of politics in India. And uh, are you interested in politics? No, sir. Why? Uh, I think uh, it's very hard to survive. Uh, that is the reason? With a honest mind. So, uh, honest mind. So, honest people are moving away. That is the reason dishonest people are sitting. And you are working for dishonest people to loot. Yes or no? So, it is you, you have to enter or anybody, any educated who has to enter, it is hard. But it is a necessity of the nation. I hope you got the point. Freedom movement was, freedom was got by the most educated in the nation. Mahatma Gandhi was a lawyer from UK. Subhash Chandra Bose was the IAS in India. At that time it is ICS. All the people were, Sardar Vallabhai Patel is a lawyer. And uh, name any uh, transformation leader. Everybody was highly educated. Educated people fought for freedom struggle. Post independence, educated people became most selfish people. And we did not get the independence to construct bridges and railways. If infrastructure was the need of this nation, Britishers did it very in a wonderful way. Look at the ribbon building. Rupert, look at the Saint Fort George. Look at the buildings constructed by the Britishers. It's much more stronger than the Indian buildings. We got independence to have free thinking, not slavery mind. Unfortunately, freedom did not cater to that. We need youth who have the model to think independently. Independent thinking is the order of the day. More than memorizing, we need youth who can think independently, generate solution for the country. I hope you got the perspective. Thank Thanks, you. sir. Namaste, sir. Uh, my, uh, all the educated persons are serving the country, but one uneducated person can serve a country, sir. He is the farmer. He can serve the country by giving him food. Is it so? Yes, definitely. Who said farmer is not educated? Some farmers. Okay, one second, let me ask the same question to you. What is education? Uh, what is your idea of education? Don't worry, be bold. What is your idea of education? I passed my chartered accountancy. Am I educated? Yes. That is your definition. It's wrong. Education is the manifestation of the perfection already within. There is a farmer who can do better farming than B.Sc. Agriculture degree holder. Farmer is much more educated than the B.Sc. Agriculture holder. Because he has manifested the perfection within the skill. I hope you got the point. Yes, sir. So education is not equal to your papers. Yes, sir. Your papers are only a formality. This is the myth the youth have. This is the myth the youth have. If education is there, why are you not getting employment? Everybody should get employment now. Yes, sir. Why are nobody is getting employment these days? Because there is no skill. Swami Vivekananda said in 1897, he said, give me unmarried men, I will send them to Japan, get them skill, get them the skills, bring back to India, set up factories, workshop, industry, produce product, export to Europe. 
He said in 1897, which Indian government is now implementing as a Skill India program in India today. Can you imagine the vision of Swami Vivekananda? It is there in 5.376, page number in complete works, which was in 1897. Please understand, my dear friends, education is not degree. I hope you got the title. Uh, I have a part of question from which you answered that by Bhargava. Yeah. You said uh, British, uh, Britishers built an uh, excellent model, uh, excellent ribbon building. It had a very good structure. But it is the Britishers who, who introduced a very big gap between the rich and the poor. So what do you think of it? Now did I say you? Uh, that's what. The problem with the youth today, taking information bits and pieces. You should not take bits and pieces like the people like politicians. What did I say? The entire purpose of independence is to get not the good infrastructure, to have an independent thinking. If the infrastructure was the issue, British should have built it. Yes or no? Yes or no? That's what I meant. You are right. Rich and poor divide, it's not only when the British came, it has always been there in the society. Every person's, uh, every leader's responsibility is to bridge that gap, which has widened over a period, is India is trying to do that now. The question is, it is not about bridging rich and poor there's no requirement we have to get happiness of the citizen very important you think that money is the main motive for every human being money is not a main motive you go and ask rich person's family they will tell you money is not a problem we want happiness please understand happiness is very very important we are measuring the country's progress wrongly we are measuring the gross domestic product gdp no it is gross happiness index the gross happiness index of the country will come from gross character index. All the people are with good character, that becomes gross character of the school. That becomes that all the schools are good, gross character of the schools. Character is important. Individual character leading to society's character, leading to happiness. That is the progress of the country. And that is called Bharat Varsha, which we had in those days. I am sure you did not village, uh, visit the village. Are you from a rural background? You should visit the village. In village, nothing will be there. But every family, you should be happy. That is the culture of Bharat, which has to be revived. I hope you got the point. Sir, last question? Yeah. Uh, sir, one more, two more. Wait. Three more. Yeah. Sir, yeah, can, quickly. Uh, can you suggest some uh, books for uh, students? Uh, yes. To, uh, of Vivekananda? You want to suggest? For me, I have to suggest. Basically, uh, don't try to, first when you are approaching Vivekananda, don't approach him like a saint. Approach him like a friend. And you should become Vivekananda first. And you think you are like Vivekananda. Then you will understand whatever he speaks. First book that you need to read is Swami Vivekananda Call to the Nation. And Swami, second book is Swami Vivekananda's Call to the Youth of this Nation. Two books. Hardly 30 pages, small book, and two books if you read, and quotations of Swami Vivekananda. Quotations. This three books is compulsory in a PDP meeting. Next time when we conduct PDP, three books is compulsory. The kit is very nominal. If you could give to the students, it would be very nice. And one photograph of Swamiji should be there in your pocket. I want all the DAV school kids to have that one photograph of Swami Vivekananda in your pocket. It will remind you the country, it will remind your ideals, it will remind you of character, it will remind you inspiration. So have that automatically transformation start. These four things you should have. With Swami Vivekananda's call to the nation, Swami Vivekananda call to the youth, and Swami Vivekananda's small photograph. If you have this, automatically transformation will start at your home. <coughs> Namaste sir, you said that you said there are many examples in other countries that each politician has won some educational qualities for getting that post. Why can't that can be implemented in our country? See, uh, it can be implemented. At the end of the day, people wanted to feel relevance. So when you contest for the election, let me be very practical. When you contest for the election, what is the measurement criteria people see? Let's assume you contest from Adam Bakr. 
and people see whether you are helping them on the ground. When a police case happens with a family, you go and take them on bail. When there is a problem in their fraternity, you go and address. For that, education is not what they see. So the people representation in India today, fortunately or unfortunately, is what the people want. <coughs> Until this changes, mind of the people changes, you cannot impose these rules. Because it's a, India is a democratic country. I hope you got the point. And let's not compare India with Singapore or Taiwan or China. Because India is a second largest democracy. And Singapore is just a small country. Yes or no? Hardly few kilometers. So according to the solution which is available to all this developed nation cannot apply here. So we should have a unique path. More the maturity of the people comes, automatically system will change over a period of time. But for this we need to work really really hard at the ground level. That's what I said. All the educated people feel India is a prison. Yes or no? They want to get out from India. Most of them. I'm not saying everyone. Given an opportunity, everybody wants to go to US. Don't want to come back to India. Most of them. So the educated people should work for the uneducated. If you do that, automatically you will represent the people. That's my thing. You cannot impose rules and uh, rules and laws here, especially on the political matters. It's difficult as of now. Stepwise pro development can be made like one who first elect as and first councillor, then only he can elect as an MP. Why that can that can be made also? Yeah, it's such as of now. Let me tell you, democracy as of now in India is democratic. What is that? As of I did not say this. Prabhupada of Iskon said this. Prabhupada of Iskon. I did not say this. If I say this, there will be a problem. Okay. Demon cry as of now. Because people form the government what they wanted. They don't want who you are. Please understand. I want my government as per my wish. Yes or no? So until you uplift the masses to the higher intellect, higher intellect, you cannot have higher intellect people sitting on the top. What is the mindset today? If the Prime Minister Modi comes out with a new exercise, immediately you come out with the new memes. Yes or no? Until that is happening, lower minds are there. He is trying to bring positivity. Everything under the sun is made joked around. Yes or no? If that culture is there, and who is doing all these memes? Educated. Please understand. Who should have processed a higher intellect? So, as of now, this is a challenge. Definitely there. People like you, people who are educated like us, should address it over a period of time. I hope you got the point. It's not easy as of now. Thank you. Uh, it was wonderful interacting with you. And I thank uh, the school and uh, the arrangement made by school for this wonderful. I'm sure this session would have added some value to you people. And I look forward every individual to become highly successful. I may not remember your names, but I'm sure someday you'll meet me somewhere but that moment when you meet, you should be highly successful. And you should, you should be part of the solution and not the part of the problem. And thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. So mark of respect. Dear Vishkur Management, you will very much uh, pleased to honor Sri Satya. Please. One of our camp participants will give his feedback. It gives me more pleasure to present a word of thanks to Sri Satya Kumar, Chartered Accountant, a motivational speaker. We came to learn about the different problems and realize that we are fortunate to get a quality education. As said by Sri Satya sir, dropping negative emotions is a skill. The foremost thing to succeed in life is to have ideals. 
Moreover, Samya Sir also mentioned that Swami Vivekananda is a man of ideals and also described his selfless character, vision and achievements. Swami Vivekananda believed in what I can give rather than what I can get. He also inspired many great leaders like Gandhiji, Tilak, etc. Narayan Raoji also says, help others without any expectation. Satya so classified the speech into three main things, modus of change, design of change and practicing the change. We should be a part of solution and not a part of problem. We have to change ourselves and help our family change so that the society will automatically change. He also inspired us by quoting the sayings of Swami Vivekananda. We also learnt about the importance of being unselfish. The main objective of getting education is to contribute to the society. We must identify our potential and bring, it, bring out our talents. We must be an optimistic person. Personality is never equal to marks. Jealousy is a fire. Before burning others' piece of gold, it will burn your piece of wood. In the act of unselfishness, there can never be a failure. We, sh we should become a personality with empathy. What you get, give it back. What you give, don't get it back. All successful people focus on essentials. Physical bodies may be temporary. Souls must live forever. Knowledge is immortality. When knowledge and experience merges, wisdom comes. Sir, you inspired us a lot. Sir, you also made us realize the true importance of personality development camps. Thank you for answering to all our queries and making it an interactive session. Thank you very much, sir.